Hi, it's Rob Heppel here from FuneralFutures.com and I want to share with you another quick marketing tip and that is how to track your high-performing funeral website with Google Analytics. So before we get started, the first thing that you'll need is to make sure that your webmaster has Google Analytics installed in your website. I would recommend that you create your own uh, Google account uh, where you can then access Google Analytics and webmaster tools and then provide the code to them instead of them giving you code out of their account so that if you ever switch uh, developers that uh, your account will go with you. Uh, so then make sure that it is then installed and then we can track it. And here we're looking at uh, a weekly report that we send out to all of our clients. What it shows is a variety of different metrics. Now this is just on a basic level uh, for customers that are using Google AdWords and paid, paid search, we would have some different metrics, but this is just to give you a basic overview of the activities of your website. And what we're going to do is just look at this one page PDF uh, that gets mailed out and uh, just go through it column by column. So first over here on the left is just a bit of a timeline over the last 30 days of the activity of the based on the number of visits. Then we scroll down and you can see that we've got the total number of visits here, uh, 25,000. And my goal is that uh, clients aim to have 250 visits per call. So if you do, uh, if you if you do 10 calls in a month, then you sh hopefully have 2,500 visitors. Now you would think that on that, this client would have 100 calls a month but actually they only had 30 calls. So they average on 900 visits per call. Uh, then we look at just the uh, number of unique visitors. So there are a lot of, um, you know, there are a lot of returning visitors. That's okay. Uh, especially when you're marketing in your own community or your own market, you're going to get a lot of repeat people. And uh, the more people that see your brand, your online brand consistently, they're going to get more and more used to it. This is using your website is the new way to do your image branding. Uh, then we can look at the page views. So here we can just roughly look at, um, you know, it's almost three um, pages per visit when we do the math here. Uh, the average length on the site is a minute 25 and the bounce rate is uh, 44%. Now what the bounce rate is just when people come on to one page, they read that page and then they leave without going to any other page on the website. Now, you don't, it doesn't mean necessarily mean that this should be zero because you want to get people to go through uh, a number of different pages. If you're doing certain traffic strategies that, traffic strategies that I teach, if you're doing those well, you're actually going to be having a lot of people uh, clicking on a link in an email, clicking on a link uh, at, in Facebook to come directly to that obit, leave a condolence, and then they might they might leave from there. So uh, it this is a metric that needs to be looked at amongst the other metrics that we're that we have. Uh, then the last one here in the left hand column is just the different browsers and. This is just more of curiosity of uh, what type of, um, you know, if there are a lot of people using mobile browsers, uh, which one of the, of the four main ones are they, are they using? So usually in less tech areas, uh, Internet Explorer will be by far the, the leader. In more tech savvy areas, you're going to see Firefox and Chrome have a, uh, a more of the piece of the pie. Probably not uh, number, not number one. Uh, we can see here that Safari has really jumped up, and uh, over the last couple of years, and that's due to um, you know Max and and their explosion online. Now, when we look at the middle column here, um, what and. In these little reports, they just give you a snap. They allow you to show 10 uh, line items. So this is just the, the top pages uh, on the site. So it um, you know, usually the obituary page or the home page is going to be number one or number two. And so that's the case here. Just the, with 
the little forward slash, that means that it's the home page. Uh, then the obituary page, and then here we've got the two locations. And then here, uh, it's all obituaries here. And then we can look down here at the different keywords that people are using. So um, there are uh, you know, lots of people generally speaking out of the top 10, most of them are going to be for the name of the funeral home, just because people now are searching um, from the address bar. Uh, so uh, what what we recommend is on a, maybe a quarterly basis, actually go into your Google Analytics account and drill down even deeper to see how, um, you know, what other terms are people using? Are they searching for your um, you know, your town and funeral homes or that type of thing. But this just uh, gives you a quick snapshot. Every once in a while, you'll see someone's name because people are searching for the deceased, especially if it's someone um, that people that, that, that are quite popular or of notoriety. Uh, you're, you'll see their name in here or maybe a couple different versions. It's also interesting to see how people sp uh, spell out your funeral home name. It's not always your the legal name the way that you have it. So here you can see that we've sometimes have it um, plural with the apostrophe, and uh, sometimes just um, the way it is. And then here people just putting in the domain name. And then here in the last column, um, the first one is just the total visits by uh, the source. So where are the visits coming from? Uh, here you can see that 45% uh, are coming from Google Organic. Uh, next would be direct. So these are people clicking on a direct link. Sometimes that could be if you're using our traffic strategy for uh, sending out the emails to the families and to the groups. Uh, those are where the direct ones come in. Uh, then we have the other two search engines, Bing and Yahoo. Uh, then we have uh, Facebook as a refer and then uh, a bunch of other ones as well. Uh, if you're using a pay-per-click campaign, you'll see um, you, you'll see another piece of pie that then would say um, cost per click here. It could say Google cost per click, and it would be another uh, piece of the pie there. Uh, the next one is just broken down from the organic searches alone. So these aren't taking into account the people that come from clicking a link or coming from Facebook. So this is just showing the presence of uh, the search engines. And uh, it seems that Google just uh, keeps on growing uh, here. And now, you know, in this instance, 82%, usually I see it somewhere around 75% or, or higher. Uh, Bing uh, has overtaken Yahoo in most cases. Um, and then there's uh, Ask which uh, it's that annoying thing that when you do a Java update or something like that, they try to stuff that into your uh, toolbar of your browser. Um, so make sure you always uncheck that if you can, unless you like to use the Ask search engine. But um, they're usually using the power, or they are using the power of Google uh, in their searches. So, uh, And then the last one here, um, just as a bit of a filler, um, just to see the number of... Uh, people using a mobile device uh, versus not. So uh, no is when they're using a desktop version. And so here, just ballparking it, it is uh, you know maybe 10% or uh, a ratio of one to 10. One, every, out, uh, one visitor out of every 10 to this website is using a mobile device. So either a Blackberry, iPhone, uh, Android, or even um, iPad, because it includes the tablets here. So that is just a quick recap of how to read the snapshot. Below this video, you'll see a link on how to uh, add um, this little dashboard here to your Google Analytics account. And then you can just set it up to uh, uh, email you or you can just go in and check it. Uh, plus also you can then drill in and look at all of these uh, metrics in a more uh, in-depth manner uh, once you're in your dashboard. And the reason why I stress the importance of understanding the performance of your website is that your website is your biggest marketing asset. It's the most valuable marketing asset. 25,000 views in the course of a month, uh, you're probably not getting that exposure in any other medium. So uh, you need to measure all of your activities that you're doing 
uh, and when you do them online it's a lot easier to track them and that's why I really harp on the importance of metrics and metrics just happens to be one of the seven M's of funeral home marketing that I talk about at the funeral marketing blueprint.com so go check it out there check out the upcoming event and I hope I'll see you there this is Robin Heppel